A pure tone is a vibration of air back and forth at a certain frequency, and it sounds like this. If you want to raise the pitch of that tone, you can speed up those vibrations. But because you've sped the vibrations up, that tone doesn't last as long. Slow it down, and that tone will go on for longer. Pitch correction, or auto-tune, is clever. When it changes a note that someone's not quite sung correctly, it changes the speed of the vibrations, but it also adds or removes some vibrations, so the duration stays the same. Except that's not quite the full answer, because musical notes don't sound like this. They sound like this. Hello. 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 Ladies, gentlemen, and all in between, the Gregory Brothers. Human voices don't seem pure tones. They're stacked with many frequencies. These natural resonating overtones sound like a single pitch to human ears. I spent hours trying to understand how pitch correction actually works. But my degree's in linguistics, and I wasn't prepared, prepared, prepared for equations that were this bizarre, 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 bizarre. The secret is math, called a Fourier transform. It takes the frequencies that were intertwined, splits them up, identifies them, isolates them. Then software can change them live in real time. Can change different notes inside a chord You can tune pianos, guitars, or choirs To me, it's so advanced It might as well be magic But it can't write a song Some talent's still required, oh yeah Some talent's still Wondering off, but I thought that sounded pretty good. <laughs> That's good. It's a powerful note. <laughs> that hurt. That actually hurt.